By the end of today's video, you'll know how to put buttons on your Discord status just like the ones on the screen. You may have seen other videos similar to this, and they all require a simple little bit of code, but today I'm going to show you a little method which I found and it doesn't require you to do any coding whatsoever, making it easier for you guys. But before we begin, consider subscribing to the channel. As you can see, according to YouTube statistics, only 8% of you guys are actually subscribed, and it would make my day if you did drop a sub. Anyways, let's get started. So we're actually going to be using Prima today, which is a popular Discord plug, and if you do want to know how to actually install and set up Prima, I suggest watching my previous video before this, which is in the card on the top right, before actually watching this video, so that you'll probably have an idea of how to actually use Prima. So you're probably wondering, why would I want Discord buttons on my status? Well, you might own a Discord server, for example, and when people click on your profile, they'll see the button on your account, and you could easily just gain a member from them having it on your profile, and they just click the button. So it's pretty beneficial. The same goes for YouTube. You might have a channel, and you have the button for your YouTube channel, and it takes someone straight to your channel, and this could possibly result in a new subscriber. So to set this up, firstly, you're going to want to make sure that pre is open. And you can see on the bottom right here, when I click the arrow, you can see that pre-mid is actually open. Because you can see the little icon that says pre-mid. That's how you know that you have pre-mid open in the background. So you need to make sure that that's open in the first place. Otherwise, it won't actually appear on your account. So now you're going to want to open up pre-mid's website. So here you go, you can see I'm on the website right now. If I click the feature section right here, and then you want to go down to visit store. And it should take you to this massive list of presences. Now, if you can't see the custom status one, as you can see on my screen, if you actually don't happen to see that, I have a way of actually finding it. So you can see at the top right here, there's a pre-mid like extension thing, a little bit of a pre-mid logo. So tap that, you'll see it actually opens you up to like all the presences you have on your account. And you should see if you have custom status already on there, it should appear like these ones. All you have to do is just click the dustbin right here or the bin. And then you can see you can actually get rid of the ones that you have already. So you just get rid of the custom status one, it should disappear, and then you just click the tick, and then it should actually appear back down here. So you want to find custom status on your list of presences, and you can see right here for me, if I click the name, it should take you to this little page right here. Now when you've opened the tab, you can see the add presence button right here. So you want to click that so it actually adds to your account. And then you want to click this little bit of text right here, this visit page bit. And this is basically where you can add your own personalized message and in our case add some buttons to your custom status. So click that and it should take you to another tab, similar to this one on the screen. You can see you can add an upper text, a uh, lower text, an image and all those different things but we're not going to go through that today. But you can see we're going to be focusing on the button section which is the thing down here. And you can see you have like a little title slash text sort of thing. And then you have like a link section and they give like some examples right here. Now the text is what the text of the button is going to be. And you can literally put anything here, such as YouTube or your Discord server name, for example. So when people click the button, it will open them up to the page, which you put in the link section right here. So for a title, I'm just going to put in my case, my Discord server, so the comfy corner. I'm then going to grab the invite link from my Discord and then paste it into the link section right here. I had it already copy and pasted and that's the Discord invite right there. Now you can add up to two buttons on your profile, as you can see there's two different sections, so you can either just have one button or you can have two. So as you can see I've now added a second button, and all you need to do is now make sure that this tab is actually left open. So you can close all the ones you have and just leave this open, and all you're going to need to do is just minimise your tab. And you'll see now if I click my Discord profile, when I'm on Discord you can see the two buttons are actually on my status. Discord for some reason doesn't allow you to click your own buttons on your own profile, which is a bit bizarre I know, but it does actually work. You can test it with your friends and it does actually open it for them. So yeah, that's the end of today's video. If you guys did find it useful, be sure to drop a like as it helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already done so, as I do loads of different Discord videos similar to these ones, and be sure to join both my Discord servers which are on the screen right now. Comment down below if you have any problems and I'll be sure to help you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.